One of the problems we face is trying to get a continuous series for some of the important variables in our models. For example, if we want to get a continuous series for GDP, then we find that uh, most of the series are actually only for fairly short time periods. For example, suppose I want to get a continuous GDP series for Germany. I've downloaded the following series from ESDS. I've got the GDP volume with 2005 prices, the GDP with 1995 prices, GDP with 1991 prices, and the percentage change in GDP. The percentage change in GDP actually runs through the whole period, but that's not really what I want. What I want is the level of GDP. And the problem I face there is that these series are only for fairly short time periods. The longest one is the 1991 prices series which runs from 1960 through to 1991 but then the 1995 price series just runs from 91 through to 98 and the 2005 prices runs from 1999 through to 2011 and there's a further problem with that final series in that this series is now expressed in euros rather than Deutschmarks so the nature of the series has changed. What we're going to look at here is how we can splice these series together to create one continuous series for GDP through the whole time period. Splicing together the 1991 price and 1995 price series is actually quite easy because we have an overlapping observation. What I'm going to do is in this column I'm going to copy the 1995 price series. So I'm going to enter this element here and then copy that cell down. Now, I want to convert the 1991 series to 1995 prices. So to do that, I've got to take the 1991 series and multiply by the ratio of the value of the series in 1991 um, at the two different prices. So in this cell, I'm going to type in the 1991 GDP series and then I'm going to multiply by the ratio of these two values. So I'll have 3408.42 divided by 2853.6. So that will convert the 1991 series to 1995 prices. Now I need to copy that cell up. So what I'm going to do is highlight this for all the series here and then go to fill up here okay and that will give me a series in 1995 prices so I'm now beginning to make some progress I've got a continuous series from 1960 now through to 1998 Splicing in the post-1999 data is actually more difficult because we don't have an overlapping observation. However, we do have growth rates for that year and what we can do is use that to create an overlapping observation. So in this case, I will take the 1999 cell here and I will take the 1998 data and multiply by 1 plus the growth rate in that year. So we'll have this and I'll need to divide by 100 here. So that will give me an estimate of GDP in 1999 at 1995 prices. Now I can now use the same procedure that I used for splicing together the earlier series to create a series for 2000 through to 2011. So in this case I will have the 2000 figure here then I'll need to multiply by the ratio of the 1995 estimate to the um, 2005 prices estimate. So I'll have 3868.81 divided by 2090.88. And if I now copy that down, 
I now have a continuous series for the whole period from 1960 through to 2001. An important final stage is just to check that we've spliced our data series together correctly and one way we can do this is by plotting the series to see if there are any obvious jumps. So in this case we highlight the series that we've created and then we go to insert line and graph the series. Now this looks reasonably sensible. There does seem to be a very sharp rise in GDP around this period here, which is around the early 1990s, and I suspect that is probably due to German unification around that time, but that's a whole different story. On the whole, it looks as though what we've done is correct. We've got a continuous series now for GDP for Germany through from 1960 to, 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 through to 2011.